<laughs> Dimples in the ground. <laughs> Look at her go. Welcome back to Down the Frame, guys. Today we're going to be working on a fence. And over here, you can see our material. This is uh, overpriced, overpriced plastic. Oh, wait. <laughs> overpriced plastic and <laughs> The main character of this story today is going to be using foam instead of concrete. Sika post fix. Now what this claims to do is, I guess one of these bags is equal to 50 pounds of concrete. Okay, sure. Bonds to wood, metal, and PVC post. Mix in bag expanding foam. Right there there's a little chart explaining how many bags you need for what size post, what shape posts you have. So the benefits of this is A, it sets in like five minutes. No, sets in three minutes. And they also say that it is uh, water resistant. So obviously if you put a post in the ground with concrete, you're gonna have water constantly soaking through the concrete and into the post itself and probably increasing the rot rate. The only concern that I have by reading these reviews by reading these reviews is that they say that it sometimes does not hold a lateral load, meaning you can pull onto the post and lift it up so it doesn't hold it. But I have a solution for that that I'll show you guys. And then also that sometimes it doesn't cure right and ends up being soft. This is a two part foam. So you have your foam itself and then your active agent or the, the thing that actually makes it foam up. It's chemistry. You need to get it right. You need to be in the right weather conditions. Read the package and make sure you nail the details with this. Without further ado, guys, let's get down the frame. Okay, so we've got three four by fours, four by four covers. We got two six by six panels. And we're gonna install it here so we can have a nice seating area here. We've already put some stone down. Obviously needs a little bit more in some areas. Sam's removing some of the brick. Some things to keep in mind is that we're not adding anything here, but these two panels will get replaced. We're gonna use the existing hole for the post right there. We're gonna have to move this one back because this fence section is actually like a seven foot wide fence section. And we're gonna end up having to cut that one down. So first we'll remove some of this stuff. We're gonna have to bring Miss Chloe here inside because we can't have her getting out. Wiggle butts. And then we'll dig our holes. We gotta be careful though. We do have that drain going through there, which by the way, if you don't have these things, clutch. Might even make a YouTube video about those. All right, start digging. We got our four foot level. We've got our hole dug to 24 inches, about eight inches wide, which should require just one bag. We just have to get the distance, but first I'm gonna show you our approach to making sure this thing doesn't get pulled out of the ground. So what we're gonna do is take this here Milwaukee impact driver with the spade bit on it, and we're gonna put holes through the post as well as dimples in an attempt to give a place for the foam to go in to hold the post down, which has been a major complaint on the reviews on Home Depot. A couple concerns with doing that. One, obviously you're taking material out so it could affect the structural rigidity of the post as well as maybe how well the pressure treated parts are gonna hold up, but the foam's gonna get in those holes and it's gonna be a closed cell foam. Basically, it should keep the moisture out. My approach to this is do two or three holes on one side, flip it and do two or three holes on the other side to go in between, give it a bit of a crisscross action to it, and then that should give us enough holding power, theoretically. The posts we took out of the ground actually had plenty of rot in them, not just from groundwater, but also it looks like termites got in there, which is a known issue in this area. Maybe not use foam if you have a termite issue, or 
use a plastic uh, fence post protector on the bottom, which they, they do sell that. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. You got two holes there and two holes on that side. And that should give us a little bit more holding power. You could even just probably do some dimples, like maybe just like a little hole here. Just like that or something like that. Something for the foam to go into and hold it a little bit better. Unfortunately, this one's split, which I wish I had realized earlier, but the foam's actually gonna kind of hold that together. It is a bit of an adhesive. Looking good. Let me grab a bag of the good stuff. All right, the good stuff. Now, if you ever worked with foam before, Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, if you've ever worked with foam before, it gets messy. So read the instructions on this. And if you ever mess with foam, it gets everywhere. So make sure you're not wearing clothes you like. Follow the instructions to a T. For me, I'm not going to read the instructions. <laughs> I'm going to read the instructions. Enough material to install a 4x4 post in a 36 inch deep by eight inch diameter hole. So we're doing 24 inches, which is pretty shallow. But what they do say is that you want it to touch. As you can see, you want it to touch the part of the post that's actually coming out of the ground to hold a little bit better. Site preparation for outdoor use only. Using a post hole digger or an auger, dig the hole while we use a spade shovel. So we've already failed on the instructions. <laughs> Make sure that the post is adequately positioned inside the hole. The post should be leveled and braced or held manually before mixing. If there's standing water in the hole, backfill partially with soil or gravel until the water is no longer visible. Keep the material between 65 degrees and 77. That's perfect for right now. For at least two hours before mixing and use. Great, that's fine. It's been, this has been kept in, you know, Home Depot. Preparation before mixing. Wear safety goggles, wear chemically resistant gloves. We don't have that. Have <laughs> product pouch and scissors directly next to the hole and be ready to cut the corner of the pouch where indicated after 15 second mixing time is completed. This is complicated. If you don't want to follow complicated steps, go get some concrete and pour it in the hole, dude. I mean, if it's gonna cure in three minutes, you don't have that much working time. And Sam and I will be standing holding this post for three minutes. Mix contents of the pouch thoroughly by rubbing the pouch along a 90 degree surface. No sharp edges. Yeah, we're gonna use our deck or the corner of the house. After mixing the progress product vigorously for 15 seconds, immediately cut the corner of the pouch where indicated and pour the mixed material evenly into the hole before expansion starts. Use the entire contents of the pouch. I got a splinter. So, to protect the eyeballs, I'll be wearing that. Should have been using those when we were cutting the wood. We weren't cutting, we were drilling, and yes. <laughs> Time to position the post. It's bleeding. Sam got a splinter. And thank you, Sam, for coming out to help us today. I'm gonna cry about it for the rest of the day. Sounds like a plan. First things first, we're gonna level it, get it into position, and then we're gonna pour it in the hole. That's actually pretty good right there. Pretty good. And that's one, 10 knots. 10 knots. So the way that you burst the seam, apparently, is you roll this side up and it should pop that seam out. We're gonna rub it on the house, kind of like this to mix it. And then you're gonna cut it with your whisk scissors, dump it in the hole. Wish us luck, everybody. I'm kind of nervous for some reason. We're gonna do this in real time. Get it ready? Okay, do this vigorously. Vigorously, vigorously, vigorously. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oops, a little longer. All right. Did you find the right corner? Found the right corner. Now we probably don't need the whole bag, I think. We're gonna use the whole bag. So. Ready? I didn't pour it onto the post. Here's a look. I don't know, your hands in the way. Right there. You can see it's expanding, filling the hole. It's expanding pretty quick, dude. I wish it would harden quicker. Just three minutes. Yep, just three minutes. Quit shaking. <laughs> I'm hoping that it does go into the holes that we made. Uh oh, it might touch the fence here, but we'll worry about that later. I got almost want to go already. Okay, well, just let's wait. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, it, it feels like it's curing pretty quick. All right, don't touch it. 
<laughs> this is what it looks like above the ground. Foamed up pretty good. We really should have had a post hole digger or an auger, but we dug it with a spade. It kind of flares out at the top, but hey, that might be a benefit. We don't know yet. We're gonna let that cure, and then that's gonna be our control point in which we're gonna measure. So the width of whatever that is, we're gonna measure it, mark it, dig a hole down, and set the next post. We only have three of them to do. Halfway done. Halfway done. All right, three and a half. That's why they call it a four by four, because it's almost four inches by four inches. <laughs> <laughs> so if we, right. if we center the hole on 71, we should be able to get our post in there. All right, mark it. Marking it. Help. Please Dude, mind. I'm having so much trouble with this tape measure. All right, so what we're gonna do next is make sure that we get a good level. We're gonna use some string and a string level, go across these posts to make sure the tops are exactly the same. Yeah, it's gonna work great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's like way high. More digging. More digging. Should name this bush George. George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> so we are three sixteenths over. We have three sixteenths to play with. Alright. Alright, another one in. This one feels slower. spotlights or something we're gonna need some work lights out here yeah. once these once these posts are said we're like smooth sailing from there oh yeah all we got to do is some screws oh we got to cut that piece of fence too it's a little <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right well one thing you need to make sure to do which sam failed to do on this post is make sure that they're both facing flat sides to each other and not like this it's okay i think we'll be okay it is definitely a little crooked but yeah you won't notice <laughs> you'll notice <laughs> We're, we're not professional fencers, it's definitely a DIY project, but I'm an electrician, so apprentice electrician. That's pretty good, Zach. It's pretty good. Three, 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 <laughs> three away. Sunset's on the beach. We're gonna check the height using the, the old screw and string method. Not that much higher. Hey yeah, dude, this the rest of this fence is falling down. I know. Bad. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. Stop pushing her. You stop pushing her. <laughs> hey, Kakapapa! What? Just a little splinter. <laughs> Why is the wood not stabbing you? <laughs> Don't forget to set a timer this time. Hey, hurry up, mix her up. That fence post is gone, dude. That fence post is curved as a motherfucker. Hold it steady. Yeah, that that last post we put in, it's got a good, uh, it's got a good 90 bend in her. <laughs> set a timer for three minutes. You have to hold that for three minutes. Yes. <laughs> set a timer for three minutes. Don't make me laugh. Is it gonna get puffy like the other one? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, it's real cool. Look at it. Watch it. She's rising. Good. She's so mesmerized by the foam, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, I didn't <laughs> realize you were recording. I say let's start. All right, that's set. So we're gonna start putting up the fence. We'll get Sweet Peach in here. She was running around earlier, but we'll get her face. Get your face in here. Oh, the battery's gonna die. Babe, we need another battery. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh, God. All right, so Sam's uh, cutting some of the foam back. We're gonna have to like pad it with some sand but pretty sturdy oh this one's way more sturdy not bad i think it'll hold up hold up better than the rest of the fence that's for sure yeah this stuff's like definitely some hard crunchy almost like a i think it's probably closed cell foam it's got a little spring into it but well that's too much oh Oop. there it is <laughs> 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 Ooh, that's a post. If 
one's cut a little shorter and this is too wide for this. Because we, we didn't account for the, uh, the plastic adding a quarter of an inch or whatever. What plastic? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think we're running into that right now. <laughs> not bad. Oh, not bad at all. Oh. She fits. Is no, we're fine. Is the ground just completely... <laughs> No, we just did a terrible job. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll make it work. It's, it's, it's way in. This needs to kick out like six inches. <laughs> Push your side that out. Yeah, we gotta get the top plate on though. Yeah, we will. We'll slide that on and then we'll mark the top plate. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one's there. Get your side aligned. So crooked. Well, I'm, try I'm trying. We, like we made this so hard. All right, we've lost pretty much all light. <laughs> We're having a rough time. We really made some mistakes here, but don't do projects on a Friday night. <laughs> but look at that. Not too shabby, huh? When you look at it through the camera, you don't realize how messed up everything is. So <laughs> thank God for YouTube. The one that was existing here. Was this one missing a cap? I don't know what you want. <laughs> I don't know. What you want. <laughs> Uh, three inches? <laughs> <laughs> Something's not right at all. Measured it, right? We did measure it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Let's measure it again and see where it's at. A whole inch. <laughs> no make up for that. Mm, yeah, even with you pushing on it, it was like 68 and a quarter. This is why they put soft tapping heads on. Yeah. I figured that out after the uh, the first one there. <laughs> I was like, ah, I see. You know that meme of Stu from Rugrats when he's making pudding at like three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> oh, that was too much. <laughs> Brackets. Oh, we should probably wipe this off or something. Eh, nah, it'll, 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 it'll come off. off in the rain. <laughs> 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 so maybe get your end started. Barely started if you can. Keep your brackets on upside down. What? No. You just gotta move the bottom closer to me. Oh. <laughs> A little too much. Alright. <laughs> well. Barely put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh Oof. How you feeling? I'm I'm sliding down. You good? I'm sliding down whenever you're sliding down. I'm sliding down. <laughs> Are you sliding down? No, I'm not sliding down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god, dude, this one was like, like professional did that one, dude. <laughs> Duh. That's how it should have gone. Yeah, that's definitely how it should have gone. I'm glad I did the marks, dude. That sat like perfect, though. We do have room to play with on these brackets. <laughs> all right well that was an adventure <laughs> we uh we definitely had some hiccups during that number one hiccup being as you can see those aren't aligned kind of out of plumb there's a couple issues but honestly it's been holding up some of the foam's exposed uh, but, you know, that's because our dog just kind of runs through there constantly, as you just saw. But the fence has been, uh, it's been holding up pretty well. It's definitely a more solid way to do this. But for now, I think this is going to suffice. You know, I'm really, really happy with how it looks with how little um, quality <laughs> we did this with. I wouldn't say quality, but it was our first time. So there was a lot of mistakes that happened. I'm happy with it. We've already spent a couple nights out here. We got some chairs, we got spools, some like makeshift tables. Uh, it's a really great space to have company over. I think adding a not see-through fence to your yard is a great way to increase just the use of your yard. It gives you privacy, enables you to have some fun nights with friends. I'd recommend it. This uh, this plastic material is nice because it won't uh, it won't rot away. The post will probably rot away before the uh, the fence actually does itself. So uh, we hung up some nice lights here which uh, pro tip here, you can use these little zip tie ties with the screw holes through them to hang them. Looks very nice. But yeah, like I said, this is our first fence that we've done and there's plenty of fence around here that needs repairing. So I think I have better ways of doing this. If you're interested in those ways, hit that subscribe button 
and we'll see you guys next time on Down on the Frame.